Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I've been away for a little bit. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, but hopefully this one goes up on time and everything's fixed. We got a puppy. So, he cries a lot. So, he's going to just be sitting on my lap for the remainder of this video. So, this is just basically my favorites of the fall that I've just been loving. Um I didn't do a favor fail for last month, so I'm just going to say fall instead of November. So let's just jump right into this. First favorite of the fall season was this Ula Hendrickson red foaming tea, or African red tea foaming cleanser. Um, it has antioxidants in it, it's revitalizing. I have really like this. This is good for all skin types as well. Um, that is the dog. I put him down. So yeah, I really like this. It has not been drying me out. My other one has been. Um, my regular like cleaning clear one has been drying me out lately. So this one is just helping me stay nice and moisturized. And then my next one is an oldie but a goodie. So my next one is the cleaning clear dramatically different gel. Um, I do have oily skin so that I have the gel one. The dog does not want to go down. He wants to make his debut on the internet, I guess. So, yeah. If you have normal skin, even if you have oily skin like I do, get either the lotion or the gel. I, I freaking love these. This one and the pink one, the moisture surge one, so good for the winter. So good. Look into them. Next, I have the Luna Sleeping Oil by Sunday Riley. Um, they do have these in bigger packages, but it was $131 for one ounce I believe and these were 0.24 ounces so I bought like five boxes of the Sephora favorite sleeping kit things but I'm gonna do a whole review on this because it has actually been life-changing for me like well not life-changing but it's been game-changing for me and I really really like it and I really want to tell everyone everything about it and I don't want to just take over this video with it like this dog is trying to right now another one of my absolute oops, close the door absolute favorites of recently is this Clinique clarifying lotion. It's the step three. Um, I do use toners normally. It, again, it is the clean and clear one. Oh, look at that. That is the dog. It's the clean and clear one, but this one has not been drying me out. Like my other one has been like, I, I loved the other one, but I've just been trying to switch everything up because it has been making me so dry after I use them where, you know, when your skin gets kind of like white looking. So, these are working for me as of recently. So I only have a couple of things that are actual makeup that were my favorites. I mean, everything pretty much is the same as normal. So first one is this Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. This one is, I mean, you've heard about this. I'm sure you've heard about this already. I finally got my hands on it in October in New York City. But I haven't ended up, I never ended up doing a haul for my New York City stuff. So, mm, I don't know. Maybe I'll do one eventually. I'm not sure. My next favorite is this mascara from Buxom. Really? I'll show you what the brush looks like. It's just been making them nice and long and fluffy. I bought two packages of it. These are the 11s. Ever Easy Kiss Lashes. Um... Yeah, they, they do the job. They look natural still, but they look like you but better kind of natural. So I really like these. These were 13 something each at Walmart. So I think that's all I have so far. I just picked up a ton of stuff when I went Black Friday shopping and I ordered a bunch of stuff for Cyber Monday. So maybe I'll haul those when they come in. That's all for today. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. A lot of saves from there. So I'm just, like I said, I have the dog on my lap and I have to hold him. So it's just me, you, and this hand.